My name is Kevin Breakstone. I teach third and fourth grade at Sycamore Valley Academy. Our teachers are, are attracted to, to working at our school for a couple of reasons, but project-based learning is one of them. Early on in our implementation of Common Core, we realized that we needed some type of structured format for educators to utilize. When I went to the class over the summer, things just kind of clicked. And then as soon as we started making projects, I just started thinking about more and more and more projects. This is a project to show the impact of the mission system on California. And the final product for this project is a board game. Uh, father of one of our students owns um, Game Core on Main Street. It's a game store. And so he came in and talked about games and game design and how they're set up and you know some of them have greater amounts of luck and some have greater amounts of strategy. I'm CB Thompson. I'm the owner manager of Game Core. It's a game store downtown. He challenged them to design a game based on the mission system in California. Here, make this board game. Here's the setting. I'm going to give you the setting, but you know, make a board game, so now you need to find out about it. She's the artist in the group, writer, researcher, and the book game. But we all like work together on the different things, like we're all working on the right now. The teacher is the driver. The teacher constructs the essential question. We all played a board game as a class based on the early European explorers and the students added to that board game. I thought about the process, I made posters on how to follow the process and we practiced, we practiced, we practiced. They have to consider the motives and the impact of different players in order to then design a game where these, these forces interact. Um, in a way true to the history. We are talking about two different perspectives, the missionary's perspective and the Native American's perspective. It's challenging because we're asking the kids to do a lot of research, to do a lot of drafts, to follow a process and also to work together to do that. And they're developing independent learning skills so that they're not so dependent on their teacher to have to feed them the next concept, but they're, they're learning how to learn. Yeah, my old school we used to just we'd read a book and then go on to the next thing, but now I actually learned more than just reading. And it's so book. fun that I'm coming to the next year. During the process, our group got frustrated, so it was a little hard at some times, but then once you got the hang of it. When you struggle over something but want to keep working on it, that's learning. And so the fact that they are working so hard but still enjoying it, it shows me that it's, it really is rewarding for them. We found that we've put limits, we've put our children in boxes sometimes, and here we're opening it wide open and the kids are um, surpassing our expectations often. They do that when they make their own game, I mean, it, it, they really surprise you. We're researching for our Negative. Native American cards. So there's like, you learn to raise like sheep, chickens, goats, and cattle, etc. And, but then there's also, you are forced to raise cattle, sheep, goats, chickens, etc. You have to know your content really well in order to then think metacognitively about what the, the player is going to experience. The Native Americans aren't allowed to believe their beliefs. So the priest took over and made them only believe their beliefs. The teacher is constantly adjusting to what it is the students are demonstrating, what they need help with next, and so purposeful assessment is built right into the project. And there's also always a few steps in the process where I have to sign off in their paper for them to move forward. And that gives me a chance to make sure that they're following the right process. So if I go and I see that they made up all their facts, I can say, okay, we need to go back to step one, follow the process forward. Escape from a mission. Plus six. I just have like one word to describe how I'm feeling. Excited. Oh, it's our game board that we're going to play at Game Core. The motivation is high because we know we're doing something that's really going to be um, assess in the real assessment of the real world in the public's eye. My 
game is Fight for the Presidio, and it is about the rivalry between the Native Americans and the Spanish soldiers, and it's a lot of fun. I can remember doing the mission project as a kid, and I remember, you know, it was all solo, it was working on it by yourself, but I really think the kids got uh, a lot out of this. The idea exchange, the cooperative learning, the energy that they were able to put into the project. Because they work in teams and they're collaborative and stuff, they, they tend to share each other's successes more and celebrate the learning that they're building as a community. I feel like it's such an important development skill to learn to socialize with people in a you know, direct one-on-one -on -one way and so I just think it's wonderful that they made, made a board game and played it with each other. Big round of applause for an awesome game night guys. Great job. The old project was an isolated standalone event. Actually, the unit could take place with or without it. Doing a game like this where they have to think about the perspectives and motives of the missionaries, the soldiers, the Native Americans, they might not be building a beautiful mission, but they're creating something that shows more of their conceptual knowledge. We have to recognize as educators that we're developing habits of mind, that we're developing ways and patterns of thinking in our students. and. Not just what we teach is important, but how we teach. We have to design a project where the process is a natural process that they can be taught and follow. It's both effective to learn the content, but it's even more effective to learn how to learn.